Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a little warm today, it's in the 90s. Wanted to give you guys some updates that I thought you might find valuable or useful or informative uh, if you own one of these Swart Pylon uh, motorcycles. Check this out. So this is how I've been commuting back and forth to work. And uh, just by chance, this backpack fits on the bike perfect. Uh, if you have the Odell or the Zell performance parts, sorry, the Zell performance parts racks on here, the Ozell or Dzell or however you want to say it. What is that, an O or a D? It's D, Dzell. So the Dzell performance parts, um, you got these racks on here. This is like the perfect setup. This is a hazard four pack um i will leave a link in the description for it as always and then these molly straps are super handy they're tensioning um they've got retention loops on them and everything and they can go around pretty much anything also uh, adjusted to my waist size this strap for the pack fits on here perfectly so um, I got those straps with this Nelson rig bag. Now, in the winter, this Nelson rig bag will encapsulate the backpack. So I can take the backpack, stick it in the Nelson rig bag, and transport it like that. Then it'll be waterproof. Um, these are not waterproof. They're not water resistant. They're water resistant, not waterproof, I guess you should say. Um, it's a thousand uh, D Cordura, uh, awesome pack, love it to pieces. Um, really handy to have. However, today we also have another drop ship from T-Rex Racing. Let's open this up and see what we got. I'm sure you guys can figure out what this is. So we got a is that the clutch side? Yeah, that's the clutch side. So we got a clutch guard and an engine guard. So these two components actually match all the other stuff that they sent me. So they decided to send me these as well. Um, and now we have a complete matching set. Stay tuned till the end of the video. And if you remember, I have those diesel engine guard and clutch guards. Um, those will be up for grabs here if you watch till the end of the video. We're gonna open these up and take a look at them. It's like they got some support brackets on them so they didn't break from the shipping. Holy crap, these are thick. Look at how thick that is. It's like an inch and a quarter. I don't know what this material is, but it feels really strong. So it looks like we got some instructions and a few bolts here. I will read through these and then we will uh, get them installed. Let's open up the engine guard here. That's got some nice supports on it and it's nice and thick as well. Look at how thick that is. That's pretty impressive. All right, let's get these installed. Okay guys, it looks like we have to um, loosen up the skid plate a bit here to get this side on. Motor's still uh, nice and warm from coming home from work. So this should be fun.
more bolts on the other side. That should give us enough room to get in there. So these support brackets have to come off. And then it looks like these four bottom bolts have to come out. So if you line this up, on with the spacers and the correct hardware so these goofy looking hex bolts are gonna go on here and allen nuts and spacers just a plethora of things to try to get on all at once oh I pulled the wrong bolt Darn it. Those bottom ones are correct. But I pulled the wrong top bolt. So this has got to go back in. does say to use thread locker on these although the factory bolts don't have thread locker on them see why they want to do that so I am going to put some blue blue schmoo on these we'll take them out and do them one at a time Alright guys, we got those installed, no problem. Pretty easy, took me probably 20 minutes to get those installed after fumbling around with all the hardware. Really adds to the uh, 
completed look with the sliders and everything, same texture. Um, as I said before, if uh, you stuck around to the end of the video, if you remember the other guards that were on there, um, those will fit on a spark pylon or a vit pylon and um, any of the years. And uh, I will throw some pictures up on the screen. I have all the hardware and everything. There's no damage to them or anything. I only had them on the bike for about a month. Um, those are up for grabs, 180 shipped anywhere in the lower 48 states. That's with uh, priority flat rate USPS shipping. Uh, send me a message if you're interested in them. Uh, I will leave uh, information down in the description once they're sold, saying sold or the no longer available or something like that. But uh, other than that, guys, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. You want to check out the playlist because I've compiled a bunch of playlists for all the builds I've done, including this one. So if you see something on this bike that you like and it's your first time on the channel, go back in the playlist and look at the thumbnails and the descriptions that are on there and you'll be able to find whatever it is you're looking for. There are links in the description for all of this stuff that's on the bike. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other. And as always, I will catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.